In this video, I want to show you how to use vectors to control the filter on a synthesizer. The first thing I want to point your attention towards are these two vectors right here, vector 1 and vector 2. Now the first one of these just creates a very fast sine wave and the second one creates a ramp up shape. When we then combine these two shapes using the vector multiply function, we get this shape, which we can use to modulate our filter cutoff. And once we have this modulation curve, it's important to set the total length of the shape to the length of our melody. And this takes a little bit of math, but don't worry. All we need to do is dividing the number of bars by the size value, which we do right here. So in our case, there are four bars and we divide this by 768. And we get this size value by dividing the number of beats per bar by the resolution of our modulation shape, which is 1 over 128 in our example. After that, the only thing left to do is use the gen controller argument to map this modulation shape to CC number 1, which by default controls the mod wheel. And then we get this.